Okay, here's how to use the National Window Washing Booking System. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is put in the login information on the Bookio login page. And we're going to sign into the account. Once we've signed into the account, uh, the first thing we're going to have here is some any messages. So this is any appointments that have either booked or canceled or anything like that in the last uh, few days. And then over here we've got our upcoming bookings. So it's showing what we've got left today, which is nothing. We don't have anything booked tomorrow or Sunday because it's the weekend and then our first appointment on Monday is booked in at one o'clock. So if we want to look and see what that appointment is, say there's questions about it, we just go in and click and we can see what kind of service it is, where it's at, um, number of window panes, inside and out. If a client calls in and wants to say, oh, I don't want the in inside done anymore, you just go over here and select that and it'll automatically adjust the price and everything. Uh, if they want to change the appointment time, you say, yeah, no problem. As long as it's not within 24 hours of the appointment, we can usually uh, accommodate that. So we can just click find. And we'll be able to go in and any of the dates that are in yellow are available. And then it'll give you the times that they're available right here. Um, but for this one, we're just going to cancel that because that's an existing appointment. If you're looking to book a new appointment or if you're looking to do a price quote for someone, uh, we simply just click on calendar here and the calendar is going to show us you know the next couple of weeks um, and the appointments that we have booked in for the next couple of weeks so say we want to book an appointment in on Monday morning at 9 we typically book appointments at 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. morning and afternoon uh, but during our busy times we will change that um, and we'll let you know what those time frames are uh, so for windows, if we want to say we want to do a window cleaning, we just select window cleaning from the top and this, then all of your options for window cleaning will just come up. Uh, the first thing it'll ask is if it's Niagara or Hamilton. Uh, we're going to say Niagara for this one. Uh, the next thing it's going to ask is the number of window panes. Typically window panes are, uh, if someone says they have uh, 10 windows, they probably have 20 window panes because most windows have uh, a left and a right side or a top and a bottom side. So. Uh, 20 is the minimum. If anyone calls in and says I have like three windows, we still quote the price at 20. So for now, we'll say we have 30 windows. You'll see that the price auto populates over here. Um, the prices may change. If I change the pricing, then it'll just change uh, in here as well. Uh, so it'll be real easy to, to see that. And you ask if they want some inside cleaning or not. Um, if they want the insides cleaned, it's going to be the same number as the outside windows. So you just click yes to that and then again it'll change the price uh, and then you're going to ask if they want their screens clean so depending on the number of screens they have and they can just go around and count their windows and count their screens and, and tell you the number that they have uh, and then you'll be able to uh, just click on the number that they need there uh, we offer a Rain-X treatment it's something that some people go for but uh, it doesn't it's not a mandatory option whether you have to check that or uncheck that and then if anyone wants an additional service, say somebody wants their windows cleaned and their gutters cleaned, well, we give a discount for gutters and that discount's automatically applied uh, because it's the second service. So uh, if they want a one-story gutter cleaning, we just click here and again, the prices will just update over there. But for now, we'll just book in windows. Uh, you don't have to really worry about the rest of this unless they're saying that they don't want to be home. Uh, if they don't want to be home for the appointment, that's totally okay as long as we're only doing outside work. So if they've booked inside window panes, we have to be there. Next step is to go to the customer. Say we want to book in uh, a customer. Let's just say that I, I call in and I want to book. So we're going to start typing my name, which is Ken. All right, now I'm in there a couple of times, but you might see that certain clients will be in there twice. That's, that's fine. You can just click on their name and it'll populate all of their information if they're an existing client right into the system. Um, if you need to change a phone number or something like that, you can just go in. If you want to add another phone number, you just click add a number and you know we can put in my business number. You know, in case they, they want another number in there. Uh, you can ask them about how they heard about it if they're uh, if they're a new client and again you can just type all this information in if they're a new client just like this and then when you click save it'll save all their information into the system 
Um, if there's any notes about the appointment, you know, they only want the front of their house done or they only, you know, they're, they're, they're interested in a gutter cleaning but they're not sure they want one or need one, any of those notes can go in here. They'll be seen by myself as well as the, the crew that goes out to the house to actually do the work. Uh, that way we'll, we're, we can be in communication that way as well. Uh, if they want to pay for the appointment right up front, we can capture their credit card details. Uh, right here, obviously my account has details in it already, but we can also bill a credit card. You, know, you can bill the amount due, the total amount due, or the other amount. Um, you know, if they owe more, they want to pay part of it by credit card and part of it on by cash or check or whatever. Uh, we can basically do any of that right here. Um, when it comes to these boxes over here, just make sure that they're, they're both checked all the time. That way the customer is going to get an email when you, when you put a booking through and uh, we're going to get an email saying, hey, you have a new booking just so you know, so we don't have to be constantly checking the calendar. And that's the basics of the booking system. We just click save. Click save. And the booking has been created. And we'll see that my name there, and it's been created. So say a customer calls in and they want to cancel their booking. We don't like when that happens, but it does happen from time to time. Uh, if they want to cancel their booking, we simply go in here. If they want to change their booking, we just go back to this find section. And we can just change the date right in there, just like I showed you before. Uh, another section that's here. If someone's calling in about a specific promotion, all of our promotions are listed in here. If they're a senior and they're asking about our seniors discount, you can just click seniors and it's going to automatically discount whatever our senior discount is at the time. If you want to cancel the appointment, you just simply click delete. And it's going to give you this. You can send a message to the customer. You don't have to. Um, we always want to track cancellations in customer history so that we know when a customer has canceled several times on us. Um, send an email to the customer and send an email to us. So all those boxes should be checked and then the, the standard cancellation policy should always apply. So we just click yes to cancel. It's going to tell you that it canceled. And you're going to see that the appointment's now gone here from the 21st. And that is the basics of the booking system. Thank you for watching.